Here's a short description of the icons that you see on the screen. This one here is the card write indicator. So when that is flashing or it's turned on, uh, data is being written to the SD card. This one here is the Wi-Fi symbol. So when that's on, Wi-Fi is, is on. These two here are for related to the flash. That's the Super FP flash and the RC mode. This one here is for bracketing. When that's on, you know bracketing has been turned on or HDR. This one here is multiple exposures or it can also show you when it's in key when the keystone compensation is on. This one under here is the high frame rate. That's how many shots per second you can take. It can also show the simulated OVF. <clears throat> this one here is the digital teleconverter. So when that's on, you're actually in digital teleconverter mode. This one will be the time lapse shooting. For example, it will have a negative number and that's how many shots it will count down from after it takes one. That means there's 99 shots left to go of the time lapse. This one here has all to do with face priority. If you see the face, then it's face priority. If you see a little eye there, it means the eye priority is on also. This is the movie sound, whether it's on or off. These symbols here are the zoom and what millimeter you're in for your lens. This one here says that tells you the flash. If it's blinking, that means it's charging in progress. When it's lit up, that means the charging has completed. This one here is important. This one is the autofocus mark, confirmation mark. So when that's completely solid, that means that autofocus has been attained. If it starts blinking, then keep on trying because it's trying to hunt for the shot. This tells you what image stabilization setting that you've put on. This one here is the art filter scene mode or picture mode. So if it's on in natural or vivid or monochrome, it'll tell you here. It'll only show you the number, so you just have to know what setting you're in. This one here tells you what white balance you're in. This one here tells you sequential shooting, self-timer, anti-shocking shooting, silent shooting, whatever shooting mode you're in. This one here is the aspect ratio. You can either have 4, 3, 16, 9. It'll tell you there what you aspect ratio you're in. Obviously 4, 3 is the best you can get, is the biggest you can get because that's the actual size of the sensor. This one here is the record mode for still images. So whether you're in large, normal, large, super fine, the size that this will tell you what's how big how size of the pictures. Same again for this one, but for in video mode, this will tell you if you're in full high def, 60p, etc. This will tell you here how much recording time you have left on the video if you're shooting video. This one here will tell you how many pictures you have left to shoot based on your settings up here. This bit here is the highlight and shadow. This bit here is the exposure compensation. The top is the flash intensity control, the top line here. The bottom is the exposure compensation. So the top one's for the flash and the bottom one is for the uh, exposure. These things here, they're level gauges. So for instance, like a spirit level, if the camera, if you set the camera on a flat surface or a tripod, you can line it up. So when it all sparks up into the middle here and here, that means it's perfectly level. This bit here is the actual exposure compensation value. So for instance, here, the example is your plus two uh, stops over exposure. This here is the aperture setting, tells you what aperture you're in. This here is the shutter speed. This funny looking mountain thing here is the 
histogram. This little symbol here tells you that the depth of field preview is on. So when that's on, you can see the depth of field exactly what it's going to look like in the photo. This bit here tells you that auto exposure has been locked. This here tells you what mode you're in. For example, program mode, aperture mode, shutter mode, shutter priority, aperture priority, eye auto. It'll all show. It'll show you here. This here will tell you what setting you've selected. You can preset things with the camera and set them into my set, my set one, my set two. This is where it'll show up. This is the touch screen options. You can change it by touching the screen. This is the flash intensity control. This bit here is the ISO sensitivity. This here tells you whether what kind of focusing mode you're in, autofocus, uh, single autofocus, continuous autofocus. This here tells you what kind of metering mode you're in. This here is for the flash to tell you what flash mode you're in. And this last bit here is the actual battery check.